Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement, Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we will take a look at our reptiles collection. This is not our entire collection. This box right here basically contains all the lizards and all the different crocodiles. The snakes are actually in a different box. But today we will take a look at this reptiles book right here that contains some facts. At the same time, let's take a look at every single figure right here. Let's go. Alright guys, so let's begin, okay? So let's take a look at this World of Reptiles book first. So it comes with a couple of figures, as well as a book for us to read some facts. So I'm pretty excited about the figures right here, so let's get this one out. And you can see we have four small little figures. If I'm not wrong, this is actually a Gilar monster. We shall have a look at this later on. And this one seems to be a, a viper. And here we have a crocodile. Okay, we'll take a look at all these figures again later on. But first, let's have a look at this Komodo dragon. So let's begin by taking a look at some facts about this. Okay, so let's begin. Green iguana spent most of the time in rainforest canopies descending from trees, mostly to lay eggs, mate, or climb a different tree. So this is actually a green iguana right here. This is a beautiful figure. We have this figure for at least a year or two, I suppose. Um, and if I'm not wrong, this is actually a figure from Safari LTD 2010. So this figure, it's 13 years old. Wow, pretty cool. Let's put this aside. Let's see what else we have. Okay, let's flip this. Okay, so this is actually a veiled chameleon. So some varieties of chameleon may defend a roost site during courtship and mating periods. To discourage intruders, they use defensive features like puffing out their throats and waving their horns. So we do have a veiled chameleon right here. So you can see they have a lot of similarities. This is a veiled chameleon. You can see the tongue is actually extremely long that allows it to catch like little insects like butterflies and flies, okay? This figure is actually from 2006. 20, you know, Safari LTD, beautiful figure. This is a adult veiled chameleon. We do have a baby one right here, guys. Yep, another veiled chameleon. You can see they are actually very similar, but of course, the adult ones have more colors, which is really cool. Okay, let's see what else we've got right here. Nile crocodiles watch over the nest. When the babies hatch, the mothers open their giant mouths and gently carry the babies to the water. Do we have a Nile crocodile? I think so. I think this is the uh, Nile crocodile right here. So they actually transport their babies in their mouth very gently. Just check this out. There's actually one crocodile inside. So this is a Nile crocodile, 2015. Okay, from Collecte, beautiful figure. And um, speaking of crocodiles, we actually do have quite a few right here, guys. A crocodile right here. This is not an alligator. Do you guys know, like, you know, are you able to tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Let me show you, okay? So, crocodile, they have very narrow and triangul triangular snout. And this is um, an alligator. It looks almost like a rectangle, right? It is just you know slightly tapered right here. Whereas the crocodile, you can see, the snot is extremely narrow towards the front. It is super, you know, tapered. It's like a triangle. Okay, so this is an American alligator. No, just an alligator. And this is a crocodile. So we have two crocodile figures, which are exactly the same in terms of the body sculpt. But of course, the colors are slightly different. Okay, let's move on to the next page and see what else do we have. Okay, we do have some turtles right here, tortoises, but we don't have any tortoise in this box. It is actually in the other box, so that's fine. Okay, most reptiles are independent from birth. They are able to hunt and care for themselves, which is kind of cool. And what do we have right here? Fruit neck lizard. The fruit lizard spots a white cape. This is the cape right here which uncurls, I think, uncurls in response to threats, surprising and stylish. 
So do we have the fruit necklace right here? So yeah, they actually open up the fruit or rather the cape to scare off any predators, okay, or any threats. Fruit neck lizard. Beautiful figure from Collecte 2014. So this one is like um, nine years old, this figure. Here's another one, a really beautiful one as well from Science and Nature. Okay, fruit neck lizard. Let's see what else we have right here. Okay, we have some snakes. We also have some chameleons and some turtles. Let's move on to the next page. Wow, what do we have right here? Crocodiles help prevent overpopulation of certain fish species in wetlands and coastal regions, contributing to a healthy aquatic ecosystem. That's nice. So they help to keep, you know, the population um, of the fish in some regions where there are too many fishes, um, they have to control the population, which is kind of cool. And here's another crocodile. Um, here's another one from PNSO. Okay. Next up, let's move on. Let's see whether we are able to find some Komodo dragons. Wow, pretty cool. Some turtles. Yep, this is the Komodo dragon. So we do have a couple of Komodo dragon figures, okay? This one's a really beautiful one, let's see. 2007 Safari LTD Komodo dragon figure. Here's another one. This one has been with me for a long time. 1997. Wow. Okay. Yep, it's like 26 years old. Very beautiful Komodo dragon. We do have another one right here. I think this one is relatively new. It's also from 1997, but we actually bought this figure like not too long ago. So let's read some facts about a Komodo dragon, guys. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards in the world, growing up to 10 feet long and weighing all around 300 pounds. They live on five neighboring islands in Indonesia, one of which is Komodo Island. Komodo dragons are cannibalistic. They have been known to eat the offspring of smaller adults. The babies run straight up a tree after they are born and don't come down until they are eight, large enough to defend themselves. Well, how, how do the babies know that, you know, they will be eaten once they are born? That is pretty scary. Crabby Komodos. Komodo dragons fight a lot, especially during mating season when males compete quite fiercely over who will have the right to approach a female. Very cool. This dragon doesn't breathe fire, but it has venom glands full of toxins that prevent blood from clotting and induce shock. Wow, so yeah, like what they have said is that, you know, once you're bitten by a Komodo dragon, you are going to be seriously injured your blood will not stop, you know, um, flowing. It can, it can clot, which means that you might bleed to death. So Komodo dragons, they are extremely dangerous. Here we have um, a white alligator, or is it a white crocodile? It seems more like, um, you know, it's quite, I think it's a white alligator. I think so, it's not too tapered. This one is definitely an alligator, but because you can see, you know, the snout is very rectangular. It is definitely not triangular. Yep, alligator. A leucistic alligator. It's not an albino. Okay, let's move on to the next one. What do we have right here, guys? Let's have a look at this. Crested gecko. Okay? Now let's move on to the next page and see what else do we have. We have some snakes right here. The black mambar. Many people consider the black member to be the world's deadliest snake. Fortunately, it's quite shy and usually avoids conflict. In the absence of anti-venine, its bite is fatal within about 20 minutes. That's pretty scary. Next, we have a saltwater crocodile. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest living reptiles in the world. They can grow up to 20 feet long and weigh above 2,000 pounds. They are excellent swimmers and live around 70 years. Do we have a saltwater crocodile right here? I think this could be the one. Yep, the crocodile. Okay, beautiful figure from Science and Nature. Let's have a look at another fact. With one thrash of the powerful tails, they can leap into the air, sink their teeth into the prey and drag it into the water. So that is um, very, very scary. Okay, this one right here is actually um, known as 
the Indian Garrier, and it is very significant. You can easily recognize it by its very, very narrow snot. Beautiful figure of a one and only Indian Garrier. Okay, next we have an alligator baby, guys. This one is an alligator baby. Yes, when alligator are small, they basically have stripes across their body, which is kind of cool. Next, we talk about the Gila Monster, which I think this is the one. So let's see, the Gila Monster, Gila, it's a large venomous lizard that lives in North America. It wants predators to stay away by opening its mouth very wide. This is called gaping. The Gila Monster is named for the place where it was first discovered, the Gila River Basin in Arizona. Okay, Gila Monsters are known to enjoy the water and some Arizona residents have even spotted them in their swimming pools. Like the close cousins, the Mexicans' bearded lizards, Gila monsters have beautiful bead-like scales. Wow. Okay, so it basically is like, like, you know, scales that look like beads. Very cool. Gila monsters spend most of their time in the burrows. They are most active during warmer months, emerging to hunt for eggs and small animals or bask in the sun. Pretty cool facts I'm right here, guys. This is the last page, okay? So let's have a look at the other reptiles in our collection. This is another chameleon. I do not know the exact species. I usually call this the horned chameleon because of the two spikes in front. Right here, we have the bearded dragon, a beautiful 2012 figure. And uh, it basically gets its name by the little spikes across the face, the head. Okay, bearded dragon, soft and puffy figure. From Safari LTD, 2012 figure. And here we have a haunt lizard. It looks quite similar to this one if I'm not wrong. But of course, um, it's different. And you can find like spikes across the body, entire head here as well. They do have a lot of um, similarities, I must say. Next, another one with like thorns and spikes all over their body. It's um, the thorny devil or the thorny dragon right here. 2015 Safari LTD figure. So this lizard right here, it actually has a false head. So if you take a look at this little bomb and the head, they actually look very similar. So if they encounter a threat, they would just hide their real head to expose the false head. Okay. Um, this one, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, it looks like the thorny dragon to me as well, but I'm not exactly like you know 100% sure. So if you guys know, you can always let me know down below. Next, we have an American alligator. They are actually quite different to the usual ones that you see because they actually walk, you know, on all fours and their forelegs are actually like very, very high up, very high up, okay? Here we have another alligator. This one, it's the um, bearded dragon from Recur. Quite a cute little one. And this one is known as a caiman, all right? A small species of crocodiles out there. 2013, is this 2013? Can't really see the number, I think it's 2019. All right, and this is a colored lizard, one of the most colorful lizards out there. You're able to find like different colors on its body, orange, turquoise, green, black. Yeah, very cool. Very beautiful lizard, I would say. Our last one, it's actually a small little bearded dragon, okay? So this is basically my lizard's collection. I'm trying to expand my reptiles collection. I'm actually a huge fan of reptiles. You guys should know that I'm a, I'm a huge um, you know, dinosaur fan. So yeah, I actually love reptiles a lot, but it's really hard for me to find like new reptiles figures. But I'm trying to get hold of um, newer ones, that's for sure. We, I definitely want to get like a Gila monster. Um, really soon, that would be nice. Okay, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Right now, I'm just gonna keep my figures neatly back into the box. As you guys can see, I tr I'm trying to optimize the space because our collection is um, getting bigger every single day. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to optimize the space, basically. All right. I'm keeping, okay, this, the small ones are definitely going back into um, the box for sure. I really love this um, little reptile reptile box. Okay, and this is the little crocodile. I think it's quite nicely detailed, to be honest. Is there another one? I think there's another one. Did I accidentally? Oh, it's right here. The the snake. 
and you can just close this right back quite easily and close this book. Love this book! Right. So let me know down below what other collection videos you guys want me to make. Um, I love reptiles, so probably the next one I can do like a snakes collection. That'll be quite cool. And um, insects collection soon as well. But I know that you guys' favorites is actually the, the sea animals. So I may do another sea animals on collection video really soon. Perhaps we can actually do like, you know, um, like a combination of our sharks, our dolphins, stuff like that. I think that would be pretty awesome. i just lay every single um, sea animal on the table. That would be pretty awesome. I think that would be like at least 1,000 sea animal figures. All right, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.